please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So today we are making natural silk with body butter. And I'm gonna start off by sanitizing my entire workstation with 99% alcohol. You guys have to excuse my parents. <laughs> it's early in the morning and it is 37 degrees here. First things first always is make sure that your whole workstation and all the equipment that you're going to be using is sanitized. Okay, so now that we have all of this done, I'm going to hit, go ahead and get all of my ingredients out, and get them weighed up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and weigh out our ingredients. And first we are going to add some mango butter. Now let's see. That's too much. Next, we will add shea butter. Tear that scale out. Perfect. Okay, and last, we are going to add 
some coconut oil. Just a little bit more. Perfect. Now we're going to take that and put it on the double boiler. Just going to take it and put it on the double boiler and get it melted and then we will add the rest of the ingredients once that has melted so i will bring you back once the mango butter shea butter and coconut oil is melted While those butters and the coconut oil is melting, I'm gonna just go ahead and measure out my oils. We are going to start with sunflower oil. Then we are going to add some avocado oil. Okay. And since that bowl, that measuring cup seems to be a little small, I'm going to transfer it into a bigger one. And last, we are going to add some jojoba oil. Okay. And that is our oils. And... Also going to go ahead and add my vitamin E oil in there 
And we are going to measure that on a smaller scale. Perfect. Okay, so let's go on and add that. I want to add it into my oils. And give that a good stir. Okay, so I will bring you guys back once my butters have melted. See you shortly. So our butters seem to be doing very well here, almost completely melted. And then once they're melted, I'm gonna let them sit for about 30 minutes. And then I'll add my oils into it and Put it in the refrigerator for a few hours to let it solidify. So now that the oils are, excuse me, now that my butters are melted, what I like to do now is take it and transfer it into the bowl that I am going to be mixing it in. So let's do that. drop out. Okay. So while this is cooling, is a perfect time to go ahead and wash up the dishes that we have already used. I just do not like when they start piling up. Okay, so I will bring you guys back shortly. Like I said, I'm going to let this sit 15, 20, 25 minutes and let it cool down really well. And then I'll come and show you what I do next. Okay, be right back. Now that this has cooled down completely, I'm going to go ahead and add our oils in it. Give it a good stir and I'll let you guys see. This has become a favorite for quite a few people. So it is definitely one that I am going to keep in stock. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna take and put some saran wrap over the top. Wrap. 
paste it over the top of it. And get it in the fridge. Let it get solidified. Okay. So let's go put that in the fridge. And it will sit for a while. Once it's solidified, we will come back and start whipping it up and piping it in the jars. See you guys shortly. Okay, we're back and we have our butters out of the refrigerator. Let's go ahead and unwrap that. I'm gonna put some gloves on. This is what it looks like right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, that looks good. And we're gonna go ahead and get this on the mixer and get to mixing. sanitized all of the jars that I will be using today so we have our four ounce butters will be in the larger containers and our samples will be in these smaller containers so we're going to go ahead and let this mix for a little bit and um, I'll show you how it progresses as it goes So now that it's whipped pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and add the arrowroot powder in it and get that mixed in. Fold it in so it doesn't fly all everywhere. It's really nice and creamy. So let's get it back on the mixer and let it do its thing. now that it is all ready we're going to go ahead and grab our press and seal and get ready to pipe these butters so 
we're just going to take and put it on there. Get it rolled up. So it's a little bit. Then I like to roll it into like a little burrito. Twist the ends. Set that one to the side. Grab some more press and seal. And we'll add the rest. So this body butter is not colored nor is it scented, okay? And that is that. Get that one rolled up. Then once I roll them, I like to let them sit for a few minutes. So we're going to do that. We're going to let them sit for a few minutes. Just go in. And then when I'm ready to pipe, I will bring you right back. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get these jars full. Okay, so we're just gonna take and put that in there like so. And we're gonna put our jar over here. Put it on the right setting for ounces. Tear it out and I'm gonna move you closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Scoop that over some. Okay. Four point fifteen, just a little more than four, and on to the next. Isn't that gorgeous? 
and I'll show you how I do my little samples as well. So that's one of my little samples. It's just a little 20 gram jar and it holds 0.3 ounces. Okay, so that is how we fill our jars. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Looks like my arm is all in your way, huh? And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit that bell notification so that you will know next time I upload videos. And I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching and have a marvelous day.